What's up? I just want to do a friendly reminder that I am doing a giveaway, 850 subs. So don't forget that like and subscribe button, and hopefully you'll win. All right, back to the video. What's up? Welcome back to another tech profile with Ubi Southern Gaming. In this video, we're gonna be doing a little uh, oh, gray's gray day because uh, when the grays come out, the day gets a little fucking gray. It's, I mean, as we get them all out at once, anyway. All right, so we're gonna start off um, with 10 grays. Yeah, we run all 10. Um, it helps with the search engine. Um, there's the 10 grays. And then we run three jellyfish because they help with the mat with the aura. In case you're short, it costs one. And jellyfish are just a little nasty. You can kill fucking gumbarees with them. You can inflict poison on your opponent. They're, they're just pretty nasty. And when you. Uh, on contract, it's the second beast you contracted this turn, you can generate two auras, so it lets you summon either another jellyfish, um, Fresno Nightcrawlers, a Dark Watchers, um, you can get a pretty good amount of stuff out there, or if you're not, it can help you out with your aura for Alberta Entity, or, yeah, so another, the other card jar, we ran two, oh, I didn't tell you how many, so we ran three of the jellyfish, uh, I felt like that'd be a good number, and then we run uh, two of the Alberta Entities, that's for the loop, so on contract, you can uh, return any number of non-token cosmic to or beasties um, from the field to your hand. For every one that you did, the next monster costs one less. So you do that, and you can either loop it into, um, you can either do it with Flatwoods Monster, you know, it's a free summon. Um, damn near, depending on how many bring back. And if you bring out the Jellyfish and the Greys, there's more mana aura right there for the next for the next summon, just to summon the Flatwoods. Okay, so, and then the Flatwoods is good because, um, um it does uh well you also run all the terrors too so all the terror bonuses come into play so they actually end up doing a lot of damage so on contract um you declare a, con a, a card type and you and your opponent can't contract or use any of the, that that selected pages or a type or page type until the next turn until your next turn the person who activated the spot was monster and then if you have inverted entity you can just keep redoing it over and over and over again and it's, that's the loop. It basically fucks people and they get pretty irritated. Unless you have something like, um, something to destroy them, or my fearsome critters just say, fuck you, and you just die. <laughs> then we run two Fresno Nightcrawlers. Nightcrawlers are good. They come in the fleet, their spirit. Um, they do 50 damage off the bat without Terra, um, 75 with Terra. When you summon them to the field, you can place um, any non cosmic pages from your chapter into your spellbook, shuffle, and then uh, draw that many cards. And people forget about that. It's a pretty good fucking effect. Then we have Dark Watchers. Everybody knows Dark Watchers does. If not, Dark Watchers cost two. It's a spirit. Um, you don't get any terrors from here because you don't run those terrors in this deck, but it, um, it confuses and it causes, um, I want to say, paralyzed on roll. And then you can. Um, um, it also, but the thing is, it can't attack with each species, but who cares? And then, um, it's a fact that you can reveal top three pages of your spell, but if it's a Terra or a page, reveal revealed pages, put them into your chapter, and then, um, place your many pages on top of your spell book in any order. So, it's a great search to help you get Terra if you're sort of sure on Terra or, or, um, Aura, which is deck you need it because you have the, uh, oh, you haven't got to that part yet, but now you now have UFO. We have the Wincon in this deck. Um, if you're not UFO, does. I think it's because my window is open. But if you don't know what UFO does, I'll just explain what UFO does. UFO, um, if it's touching another BC, that BC has flight. Um, you can sacrifice, it says, you can, it says, and then the effect is, this must be the um, first action of your turn. Destroy this, destroy this beastie, a terra page, a, what is it, a star terra page, um, a cosmic, or a meteor shower, nighttime, and stars. Terra page and then five worth of aura on monsters and you win the game and if not this card's also great for you know i don't have them in here but it's great for the reveal reveal your opponent's hand and just keep causing damage off those five um five class monsters or the four class i believe um but yeah it's a great card and does three co cost three has flight um 25 from the terra the stars terra and it comes out with 80 attack i mean 80 life points and then you have over here you have um reptoid ruler he's fucking awesome we'll put him next to the grays because he belongs with the grays so that's that's the main reason why he's in here fucking disgusting so the um reptoid ruler cost four comes out with 80 lp fleet a stone skin um gains 40 from the stars terror um and it has two effects all bc aliens you control gain tribal boost um gain tribal boost um 
which is 10 life points, 10 attack for each other beast alien in the arena until the end of this turn. So if you have 10 grays, and most of these are aliens except for, I think, the jellyfish. Yeah, they're all aliens except for the jellyfish. So, and the vehicles right here. So you have five monsters that aren't, but five out of fucking, I don't know, it's like 20 monsters, you know? I'm, you're fucking solid. So, and then the second one is target opposing beastie. Um, and then you can roll if you get a three or four, you awaken that beastie, you can't control it to the end of the turn. If not, that, opponent, that monster cannot declare an attack the next turn. And then it has confusion and 10 for its attack, forget everything. Um, and then we also run UFO. It gives every beastie from UFO 25 attack points and 25 LP until the end of turn. That's great if you have the grays, nice little, you know, helps you win a little bit. Does a little decent amount of damage. Supernatural black hole, that is a wipe in case it is not going your way and you need it to change. So then you just pull that bad boy out real quick, do that and hopefully you draw into something else that helps you out, which in this deck is nothing but draw. And then we have Power Bread, of course. New Year's New Beginnings. If you don't know New Year's New Beginnings does, you and your opponent both toss their hand to the graveyard and then you draw seven cards. Which in this deck, it's not too bad because you have um, everything cost pretty cheap. So you're not going to be sitting there stressing too much about have, what, what, like needing to cast and your hand being full. Because most of the time, you're, you're going to have an empty hand. Um, unless you have a lot of draw, which this card does. But you, have, you can spam everything pretty quick. And then we have two bookmarks for more draw. And then for more draw, we have two bookmark blues. Love that card. Reminds me of magic is a scry. We play three tarot's. Um, nighttime, um, um, start planetary alignment and cosmic rain. They're all pretty cool. Pretty fun. Then we have one cosmic or chaos crystal. We play two black holes and I believe it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cosmic auras. Okay. And that is the deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. And you know, the side deck, you can either choose what you want the side deck to be. I mean, everybody chooses the side differently depending on what they're scared of. A lot. <laughs> um, this deck, I would add a little, like a seat package and um, maybe some um, boiling brews because I, I run critters and how dangerous they can be. Um, throw in some prism wars. This deck doesn't have prism wars because um, this is, to be honest, I don't. I could throw the sleep package in here, which I believe every deck should have a sleep package, but that's just me. But this deck, I run the other two prismores in my critters deck, so I will be posting a video on that pretty soon too. I just wanted to put this out there because I've been sitting there. My I made it. I made it. My friend plays it all the time, and uh, it does pretty well in tournaments. It does decent. I mean, depending on your draw, I would say out of a competitive level, it's maybe like a six, six and a half, seven, maybe. You know, out of a ten, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the, the little deck profile and i hope to see y'all in the next one later